Hello, Yumi Nikki fans! I was scrolling through my Reddit one day and found a Yumi Nikki iceberg by Hello, Lil. After asking them if I could make a video about it, they gave me the thumbs up, and here I am. I am CC Silva, and today we will be going over the Yumi Nikki iceberg. Of course we have to start with you, Boa. Most of you already know the gist of it, so I'll be quick. Go to the snow world, go in this igloo, and you arrive in the pink sea. Touch these balloons and walk north until you reach this big cone house. This is Ponico. She's very cute. Flick the light off. If nothing happens, walk out, go back in, flick the light off, and rinse repeat. There is a 1 in 64 chance that Ponico will turn into your boa. In this case, touching you a boa will take you to your boa's trap, a looping gloop place with a very menacing creature in the background. The only way to get out is either to wake up or use the eye palm effect. When you go to sleep, turn the TV on and off, and every once in a while, you'll get to enjoy some sick raves. Yep, there are Yumi Nikki fan games, and there are a lot of them. According to Internet Cool Dog Toby Radiation Fox, Yumi Nikki was credited as inspiration for Undertale, alongside the Mother series, Toho Project, and Moon Remix RPG. Looking at the strange NPCs that litter both games, that makes a lot of sense, really. Especially, and please don't hate me for saying this, I know some people will, Gaster taking clear inspiration from Yuboa. There's also this love of a test NPC that can be compared to the dripping blood in the tile path, uh, I guess. Let's move on. Sometimes, when you go to sleep and go to the numbers world, this wall will have a different face on it. Stab it, and you'll go to the staircase with our good pal QQ Coon. If you go through this door, the face will start flashing on your screen, and you automatically wake up. Looking at some of the imagery in Yume Nikki, people think Modatsuki was raped. These ovary things in the endless road, these penis monsters, the entirety of the face event, etc, etc. It's a very common theory and everybody in the Yuminiki fandom knows about this. Hidden in the vegetation of the wilderness, you can find some Turnigan having a cool picnic. He can't join sadly, but you can enjoy the cool music. Sometimes when you sleep in the dream world, you'll be teleported to the staircase. Go down, put out the flame, pick up a turd, and you'll find yourself in the spaceship. Go in this bed and wait a bit. If nothing happens, walk out of the room and try again. If the screen fades out, the ship will crash on Mars. Walk out, use the midget effect to go in this hole, and you'll find Mars Sun. If you stab him, he changes color. In the sewer, if you interact with these holes, then some drawings will pop up. I like these, they're cool. In the ending of Yumi Nikki, when Madotsuki jumps off her balcony, the blood splatter that follows is partnered with dancing jellyfish, NPC is found in the dream world. This is further evidenced by the intro of the remake that is so bizarre to explain that you'll just have to see this for yourself. Sometimes this manhole in the dense woods will have a red tentacle in it. Touch it and go along this path. You will find this big monster with, surprise, a quivering jaw. In the white desert, there is a 1 in 3,600 chance every half second that this cool thing will fly across the screen. If you see it, you are either incredibly lucky or incredibly patient. I am the latter. Sometimes, in the department store, this cone will be gone. You can take the escalator to the roof and use the witch effect to fly over the city, enjoying some pretty sick of beats. Unequipping the effect of midi fence will cause you to fall out of your bed. If you equip the knife effect in the spaceship, Masada backs away. That's all there is to that one. In one of the wildernesses, you can interact with this block, causing the Aztec Rave Monkey to flash on your screen and dish out some sick beats. If you interact with this wall in the FC dungeon, the dream will crash like a video game and you'll wake up. Sometimes you can see UFOs in the skies of Mars. You can use the cat effect to attract more. 
There are actually two of these. The first one involves you entering your chair, equipping the bike effect, and exiting your chair. Boom, you're faster. Not fast enough for ya? Get in the chair, equip the bike effect, wall the chair to the nexus, drop the bike's egg, pick it back up, and equip it again. Go to the desk, magically manifest and sit in the chair, exit the chair, and Medotsky has gone turbo mode. In the number world, you can stab the story to, to enter this closet and, and go to mini hell, where you can find a translucent Madotsky. People suspect that Madotsky has violent dreams because she is a murderer and she kills herself in the end to avoid the police. In Yuminiki Dream Diary, you can activate a secret ending with Masada as long as certain conditions are met. Often mistaken as a glitch, sometimes after Madotsky wakes up, she can get a crick in the neck. There is a semi-official Yuminiki manga. The story isn't really anything special, but the art is pretty incredible. Being drawn by the same artist for Alien 9, Hitoshi Tamizawa. If you use the cat effect by this river in the number world, this awesome snail thing will wander up to you. In the 2018 remake, there's a chance that you can wake up in the original Yuminiki after exiting a console game, making me wish even more that they put the original on the Switch. In the manga, Madotsuki says a line that implies that Yuboa is her mom. RPG Maker has a function that lets you pitch shift the music. Kikiyama used this function to change some of the tracks, sounding different from their original in-game files. There is a very well-detailed video covering the topic that I will link below. Since we know near nothing about Kikiyama, creator of Yuminiki, many internet trolls have decided to pretend to come out as Kikiyama. One of these trolls are even interviewed, and the interview is so hilariously painful that I have provided a link in the description for you to read it. Yuminiki has a handful of designs borrowed from yokai, Japanese myths and legends. Some of these include the Yukiona, the Oni, and the Naparabo. The FC World C is a huge variant of the FC World that went unused. In the Densewoods A and Woodmill World, there's an unused event of the character from Nasu that would take you to the FC World C. In the Number World Bedroom, there's a chance that, if you stab this Turinigan and get caught, you'll end up in this room. This phrase is also associated with you both screaming, since it translates to ah. With all of the art in the game, Kikiyama probably made a lot of digitized sketches, right? You can find the concept sketches in Yuminiki Dream Diary, but it's not confirmed whether or not these are the original sketches or created by Kadokawa just to have a bonus collectible in the game. This refers to a removed event in the previous build of Yuminiki, where you go into bed and get cornered by a Turinigan. If you go to this fire in the underground through the bed after turning into the snowman using a hat and scarf effect, you can make Madotsuki melt. You can translate Kiki to machine and Yama to mountain. This is an accurate description of Marasan. Hypertropia is a condition in which the eyes don't align. Since this imagery can be seen often in the game, there are fans who speculate that Madotsuki would be revealed to have this condition if she were to open her eyes. Assuming that Dream Diary isn't canon to the original. Debug rooms are common in video games for when a developer wants to test out a feature. These rooms are usually exclusive to the developers, being kept as secrets in official releases of their games. Of course, one of these rooms can be found in the files of an old version of Yuminiki. A lot of imagery in Yuminiki is very clearly inspired by Mesoamerican art. Yumi no Oto is a Yuminiki CD. It has the soundtrack for the game as well as beautiful reimaginings of some of the songs that can fill up its own album. I highly encourage you to listen to it with the link in the description. In both Yuminiki and Buddhist art, multiple or abnormal limbs are a common occurrence. There is also the ending, where Madotsuki transcends as the jellyfish which resembles lotus flowers that represent purity, divinity, and spiritual awakening in Buddhism culture dance around her. Some of the imagery in New Maniki can be compared to the abstract art of John Miró and the surrealist art of Salvador Dali. 
In the Adventure Time episode, the thin yellow line of banana guard shows Finn a mural he's been hiding from Princess Bubblegum, criticizing the princess's cruel personality. On the mural, you can see a figure somewhat resembling Yuboa. I personally think that this one is a bit of a stretch. Kikiyama had an account on a website called My Sound, where they would upload a few techno songs they made. Vomit-chan is a popular meme in the Humaniki fandom used as a reaction image to show disgust. It is simply a drawing depicting a vomiting Madotsuki. In some circles of the internet, the meme isn't often known for its RPG maker origins. Side tangent, I was once wearing a skin of Madotsuki in Minecraft and my friend recognized it as Vomit-chan not knowing that it was from Humaniki. Surface Paradise was a merchandise company that dished out a big wave of Yumi Nikki merch a few years ago, including notebooks, shirts, rubber straps, and more, as well as the previously mentioned CDs. Pretty self-explanatory, versions 0.00 through 0.03 are practically lost media, as no archives of these versions currently exist on the internet. Neon statues remove decorations from the 0.9 Neon World. In 1993, Kadokawa, the company that made the RPG Maker engine, published a picture book called Rex Yume Nikki. Interesting enough, the book features a character that looks almost exactly like Madotsuki. If anybody can find a PDF copy of the book, please let me know. That'd be cool. There's an NPC in the Witch's Island named Kisu Tenmetsu. Its name and blinking animation could be a reference to Kasai Tenmetsu, a brand of LED watches in Japan. If you open the game in RPG Maker and add an unused character, possibly for debugging purposes, to Madotsuki's party, a few things in the game will change. Some of these changes include most of the terrain again disappearing, the neon world using an unused background, and being unable to move when you wake up. Pretty self-explanatory, there are a couple of backgrounds for areas in the white desert that went unused. Butsudan is a type of Buddhist shrine. If you interact with a short lamp in the lamp world, you can go to an area of the tiled path, or you can find Madotsuki barely fitting inside one of these shrines. Since we know practically nothing about... <laughs> Since we know practically nothing about Kikiyama, they can really be dead at any given point without our knowledge. Version 0.04, 0.06, and 0.09 are previous versions of the game that have different graphics, bugs, and yet-to-be-implemented features found in the final 0.10. In a previous version's files is an unused graphic for a minigame that depicts a severed head on a soccer field. There is an unused door texture found in the files of Yume Nikki Dream Diary that would have led to the basement area. It resembles the candle world from the original game. In 2019, Playzum posted a Christmas card, apparently made by Kikiyama, on their Twitter. This would be the first Yume Nikki content that Kikiyama themselves would have made in years. A Yume Nikki fan discovered an ancient Parkus textile that has a figure resembling Madotsuki on it. Someone discovered that a prank razor has two characters resembling Ponico and Madotsuki on the package. Tamaki Hamatsu was a Japanese comedian who won the world record for living the longest purely off of sweepstakes winnings. He accomplished this by staying in his cheap apartment, naked, living off only the bare necessities needed to survive. He was given the nickname Nasubi due to his long facial features resembling an eggplant. Many parallels can be drawn to Yuminiki, such as living alone in a small apartment and the theme of eggplants. In the files of Yuminiki Dream Diary, there are unused Madotsuki sprites that would have appeared in Super Nasu, maybe as an unlockable skin. Is this the part where I, where I do like this super deep scary voice, like, uh, Twin Reverse to Arteral Perfusion is a terrifying rare condition in one of two. <laughs> no, I can't do it. It's, it's horrible. Twin Reversed Arteral Perfusion is a terrifying rare condition in which one of two fraternal twins can be born with only a torso and legs. This has a 1 in 35,000 chance of happening. I'll only be showing you an x-ray as that's likely more YouTube friendly than an actual image of this condition. Strangely enough, 
Our good friend Takofusen bears a striking resemblance to a baby miscarried with this condition. In a previous version of Himeniki, Kikiyama included their email. Fans would often use this to basically tell Kikiyama how cool they are. Kikiyama would commonly respond to the Japanese ones, maybe using Google Translate to respond to a few English ones. All of these are difficult to find archives of. One of these emails also brings forth evidence that Kikiyama is a girl, maybe? There's a good Yuminiki podcast that mentions these that I will also link. In the magazine Free Game Station Volume 1 and Freeware Almanic 2005, downloads for old versions of Yuminiki are provided. These are why we have the downloads for 0.04, 0.06, and 0.09. Kakashi and Tamari are two scrapped effects from Yumeniki Dream Diary. The functions of these are unconfirmed. This is actually a theory from the creator of the iceberg. During ceremonial rituals taking place after the Aztecs built a new pyramid or structure, a lower class man would be chosen, painted blue, and decapitated over a stone in the top of the pyramid. After holding the victim's head up, their body was kicked down the structure stairs where other peasants would rip the body apart. Apparently, Monaco and Manoy had different names in the previous versions of the game, but the creator of the iceberg couldn't find the form for me that said what they were. So, let's move on. Switch 203 is supposed to be used for Nasu, but if you activate it in the dream world, the tile set for the number world will be changed to the forest world. On Kikiyama's old My Sound page, there were two songs called Youth's Shadow and Cicada Drums. These weren't archived and can be considered lost media. It is commonly known that Yuhiniki was originally released on 2chan, Japan's answer to 4chan. However, the original post wasn't archived and is likely lost to time. And thus concludes our Yumeniki Iceberg. Thanks to Eller Lil, the creator of the Iceberg, the Yumeniki Fandom Wiki, the Cutting Room Floor, the Dream Diary Podcast, Yuboa Chan, Uber Mario RPG, and r slash Yumeniki. Without you, uh, this video would have been really hard to make. Uh, also, big thanks to the viewer, obviously. And while I'm talking to you, the viewer, I would like to know if you have any suggestions for future Yume Nikki related content. This iceberg left out a lot of cut features from Yume Nikki, and I was thinking I'd be interested if I made a video all about those. If you want me to cover something different, then please, please let me know. I would love to. Thank you.